All right. How are you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And our president, Slow Joe, removes military flags from the Oval Office on his first day on the job. What a guy. Biden removed military flags from the Oval Office on his first day on the job. The missing flags were first reported by the Washington Post. Oh, that means it's real. Remember, democracy dies in the dark. That was their head mass as soon as Trump took over. Who noted the absence of the flags that have been on the left side of the office near the window for years? Ah, the military flags are gone. Slow Joe, don't want it. Biden added a bust of Cesar Chavez, a communist who didn't like illegal immigration. What? He probably doesn't realize that Chavez was vehemently opposed to illegal aliens. What? Slow Joe, you better get up on your history. A bust of Cesar Chavez, labor leader, farm worker, organizer, and civil rights activist behind the Resolute Desk. There it is. Slow Joe. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this F fucking potato head with his mask on. And he, all by himself. Doesn't even look like he's wearing it right. It looks like he's blowing his nose, even though a mask does absolutely nothing. Um, That's another subject. I'm getting a little carried away. All right. Anyway. Slow Joe don't give a fuck about our military. 5,000 National Guard troops kicked out of the Capitol. Packed into parking garage after Biden inauguration. Hundreds of National Guard troops were photographed Thursday night crowded into a Washington, D.C. parking garage. A day after more than 25,000 National Guard troops and another 2750 active duty military troops provided support. For what? For President Joe Biden. Support for what? No, no, no president has ever had to have troops line the freaking streets for his inauguration. What a piece of shit this guy is. But I digress. A guardsman who spoke anonymously with Politico said about 5,000 troops were Leo relocated to a single parking garage after they were to vacate the Durkin Center. In other words, they put these troops, our, our National Guard troops, down in a parking garage with one bathroom. And who gives a fuck about you? All right. There you go. All right. There you go. Here we go. Troubling details of guardsmen being forced out of the capital, having to arrest in a nearby parking garage. Look at them. They're packed in there, in there like sardines. And then mainstream media going, no, that didn't happen, that didn't happen. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? It happened. And you know what? We are coming for you. We are coming for you, mainstream media, because media like myself and others aren't putting up with this, and we will not stop. There are photos, there are evidence of all the shit that you guys are trying to bury, and it ain't going away. So here we go. Good luck with your it didn't happen bullshit. It happened, and it continues to happen. Like I said, here we go. Plenty of pictures. 
we obtained these photos of National Guard troops packed in a parking garage on the Senate side of the Capitol. Huge COVID risk. You know, <clears throat> that doesn't even matter. It's what they're doing with our troops. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, we don't want you no more. Just go lay in a parking garage with one bathroom. These pieces of shit. Congress people are. Uh, all right. Here we go. Someone telling Joe Biden through an earpiece to salute the Marines because the potato head, our supposed president, the potato head, doesn't know any better. Instead of saluting, he says, salute the Marines. Here's what a fucking idiot our new supposed president is. Okay, that wasn't very loud. Uh, let's see if I can get it a little louder. Salute the Marines. Salute the Marines. He was told to salute the Marines, and what he said was, Salute the Marines. He's just a potato head. He don't even know what the fuck he's doing. <coughs> All right. Biden's National Guard scandal won't go away with a photo op and cookies from the fake doctor, Joe Biden. The Biden administration is clearly trying to clean up the mess of one of its first big scandals by sending First Lady fake doctor Joe Biden to the rescue with cookies. Oh, there she is, delivering treats to the National Guard. Could this, could they be any more fucking phony? I mean, I mean, are you, do we miss you yet? Yeah, we do. I can't stand the phoniness, and my God, there's nothing but phoniness at this point. And here we go. The media fails to ask Biden one question about the troops sleeping in the garage. Because they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Not one single member of the White House press corps asked Biden about the National Guardsmen forced to sleep in a cold parking garage. Like 5,000 of them with one bathroom. And there's not one question about this. These people are sick individuals. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to this one just because it's funny as fuck. Okay, YouTube, you dumb motherfuckers. This is the Babylon B, okay? I'm pointing this out because you... Fucking idiots are so stupid. I'm going to read this as it is. But realize, YouTube, there's the Babylon Bee. This is satire. This is fake. This doesn't exist. But it's fucking funny. Babylon. <laughs> Babylon. Biden tells freezing troops sleeping in the garages to be patient until he can get them shipped to a rock. <laughs> After national outrage in response to tens of thousands of National Guard troops being sent outside to sleep in freezing parking garages, Biden issued a statement begging the troops to be patient while he writes up an order to send them to a much warmer climate in Iraq and Syria. Listen, you bunch of dumb pony soldiers said Biden in a line to 3,000 soldiers waiting to use the bathroom. I know you people are much better used to me when you're fighting some war in the Middle East. Hooah! Am I right? 
don't worry. We'll get you off to Iraq soon. You won't be cold anymore, folks. It's 115 degrees there. According to sources, the guardsmen were sent away from the Capitol building after some politicians complained that they smelled weird and were holding scary-looking guns. We were nervous about all those scary-looking men lying around everywhere, said Senator Cory Brooker. One of them was reading an Anne Ryan book. It was terrifying. Please get these people shipped overseas as soon as possible. Biden has assured the wedding national guard and the country that he will have these boys shooting tribesmen in the hills of Afghanistan in no time. In the meantime, the troops are dealing with the weather, food shortages, and only one bathroom for 5,000 troops. Fortunately, several more bathroom facilities were discovered on the hoods of Congress members' cars. Now, YouTube on the bunchers, I'll say again, that is a satirical site of the Babylon Bee, and I'm merely reporting, not saying. Ha <laughs> ha. Moving on, President Trump actually gives permission for the U.S. troops to stay at the Trump Hotel in Washington. Now, this is not the Babylon Bay. This is reality. After these people put them on the concrete, Trump says, come to my hotel and stay there. <sighs> I won't read it all, but you can read this. You can see it. I mean, one day after Biden's inauguration, 5,000, you know, that's a lot of soldiers, were moved to a cold parking garage. There's one power outlet and one bathroom for 5,000 soldiers. You can imagine how that works. Military source. For the last week, my battalion has been sleeping on the floor in the Senate cafeteria. Today, the Senate kicked us out and moved us to a cold parking garage. This ain't bullshit. This is what's going on. 5,000 soldiers, one power lab, one bathroom. This is how Joe Biden's America treats soldiers. Fuck Joe Biden. Fuck him, man. This fucking guy is... More than 20,000 troops protected Joe Biden's sham inauguration on Wednesday. I, I, I swear to God. Donald Trump has offered them <clears throat> to stay at his hotel because our troops should not be laying on the floor in a basement garage. I'm very irritated, as you might notice. I don't care. <clears throat> That's going to do it for this edition of Nameless News. Subscribe to my channel. Like and share this video. Because remember... The aimless news must be told. <laughs>